Hi, welcome to my first episode of Creation Kit Tutorials. Uh, I'm not going to do a whole lot of Creation Kit Tutorials, but what we're going to do is we're going to focus on just getting the basics down because it's my it's the most common question that I get uh, with uh, with with my mods is how how did you do this? Um, how do you start? Stuff like that. So we're going to go just kind of over some basics. Um, first, we're going to start off with just getting the Creation Kit. A lot of people don't know where to find it, and I'm just going to show you that now. So once you start it up, you want to sign into your Steam account. Um, and once the Steam account is up and running, you want to go to your library. You'll see the library with the you know your your games that you've bought. And what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to see where it says My Games. We're going to highlight that, and we're going to go and we're going to drop it down to Tools. Next, we'll go ahead and scroll to the top here. Next, we'll go ahead and we're just going to scroll until you see the Creation Kit here. So that's where you get it. It's not hard. Just right-click on it, install program, and sit and wait. But we already have that installed. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get the Creation Kit set up so it's so it should work for almost any situation you run into. Now there are some there are a few changes that you have to do. Uh, to the creation kit before it can pretty much do what you need it to do. Um, there are some restrictions on it uh, from the beginning, and we're going to go over at least two of them and get those out of the way so you're ready to follow the next tutorial. The uh, So what we're going to do is we're going to add um, a few lines to the uh, uh, the any file. So you go to your Skyrim uh, installation folder because that's where the creation kit is saved. Uh, you can actually see it... Uh Right there, there's the creation kit executable. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go down to Skyrim Editor. So this is just the any for that and has uh, several different settings. So one of the restrictions on the creation kit is that it can only load a single master. A master file is the ESM file, the Skyrim ESM file that is uh, located on in your load order. Uh, we can go ahead and so you can go here and um, whoop, sorry. So you can go up here and you can see that you got the Skyrim ESM. That's a master file. That's a master file. And that's what's required to, to load up the, the database so that you can edit it and start creating your own file. Now it's not necessarily a needed to add that, but a lot of, to, to do a lot of modding or simple modding, it is. So what we're going to do first is under general here. So you can see under general, we're going to scroll down and at the very bottom of general, we want to add allow multiple master loads. So what this does is that Skyrim does contain several master files. You have the Skyrim ESM, the Dawnguard ESM, the Hearthfire ESM, and the Dragonborn ESM. So these are all master files. A lot of mods, if you're either you're looking to create your own or mod an existing one, use more than one master file to to so people can edit what everything that they need to to make the mod work. So by putting this in here, that'll allow us to allow allow us to load more one more than one ESM at a time. Uh, the other thing is, is if you're planning on modding Dawn Guard or Dragonborn or Hearthfires, then you also want to be able to load them into uh, into the creation kit. So we do have to scroll down. And so what you're looking for is these R resource archive lists. So under S resource archive list two, you want to add several things. So yours will probably go up here until uh, and stop at update.bsa. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the Dawn Guard BSA, Hearthfires BSA, and Dragonborn BSA. This allows you to, when editing them, load those files. If this isn't in here, it will come up with an error and won't allow you to continue. Simple as that. So. After we've got those done, be sure to save and exit. Okay. Now that we've gotten that, now we're just going to go ahead and get started uh, loading up the creation kit. So you can see I got the creation kit down here in the corner. So what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll start that up, and you'll see this. Uh, next, what it's going to do is it's going to bring you up. So yes, the program is technically ready to go, but for most mods. You're not quite, you're not quite there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up into the open in the upper left hand corner, the little folder there you can see, 
and we're gonna click open. This is gonna come up with all of the files that you have in your Skyrim folder. Uh, it's also very similar to your load order that you can uh, edit through the uh, through the the launcher, the Skyrim launcher. So if you were just looking to start your own mod and you want it to be compatible with Skyrim, you can simply double click here on the Skyrim ESM and hit OK. What it's going to do is it's going to load up the Skyrim ESM and the BSA and all of its uh, all of its uh, uh, assets so that it's ready to edit. Um, the only thing is, is that it does come up with a few errors, um, which are okay and are common. You can just hit yes to all, and then yes to all, and you should be good to go. You can also hit ignore on this one, and it should load. Now these errors, I've, you know, I've done, I've worked with the creation kit a lot. These errors are common every time I load them up. There are other errors that can occur, uh, when you're modding and you do something wrong. So it's, you know, I'm telling you to skip through them, yes, but once you actually understand what's showing up every time and what's not showing up every time, you should kind of look through those to make sure it's not something that you did wrong. It's always a good idea to, to make sure that the same things pop up every time and nothing new. So yes to all. And just take a couple seconds here. And all right. So now that we've got that, um, load it up. So these are all the assets and this is the, uh, this is several different, this is a lot to look at. I know this is a lot to look at and we're not going to really go over all of this, uh, at least not in this video. This is just about getting started. So we've got the creation kit up and we're ready to edit. Once you've edited something or changed something that you want to see works, it's simple. All you got to do is go up here and save. So you save the plugin as anything you want. So test, mod so we'll save it as test mod and just save and that's it you'll see well not here i guess usually you'll say up in the corner here or no there it is right there that that's the file that you're working with now we won't go over anything we won't edit anything this this will be we'll edit stuff in the next tutorial but this tutorial is just about getting getting started so now that we know that we've saved our mod you can we're gonna i'm gonna go ahead and close the creation kit and I'm going to show you how to get back into the mod that you've already done. So we'll go ahead and we'll open the creation kit again. Okay. Now to get back in your mod, we already know. It's, so we're going to go over here to open. Now, before we double clicked on the Skyrim ESM, just to start a new file. Now that we have already have a file, we'll scroll to the bottom and you can see that your test mod ESP is there now. So to continue editing this, um, we're going to click on it. Now, if you look over here, you can see that the parent masters are Skyrim ESM. Uh, if you look at other files like Skyrim here, you can see that it has multiple masters. And so that's why I had you put that one line in the any file is so that if you wanted to load this up and edit it, you would be able to. Otherwise, you get an error saying that it could not load multiple masters. Anyways, back to where we were. So to load your mod, you simply click on it here. You set as active file and hit OK. You don't need to go back up and reselect Skyrim ESM. It's What it's going to do is it's going to load your mod and it's going to load all the parents. So anything over here will also be loaded with your mod. So just hit OK and we'll run through the exact same process. It will also, again, come up with several errors that for most of them you can't ignore. Now, you can go into the any file and disable these errors, but then it also won't show you the errors that you may have created while making your mod. So we'll just go through and uh, accept these and wait for it to load. All right, so here we are. We're ready to continue editing our mod. That has been uh, tutorial number one on how to simply get the creation kit up and running. So I uh, thank you for joining me. Please uh, like or subscribe or uh, give me any hints or anything that you would like to see in future tutorials. And uh, have a good night. What's with all the flipping spiders? And the wolves?